Hello everyone. Today I'll show you a few interesting developer settings that many people know about, but that doesn't mean everyone knows them, so I'll show them now. For those watching for the first time and who haven't yet customized their phone to speed up performance, I'll say that we won't be using any apps. Everything can be done through the standard settings. If you're wondering why you should do all this, there are many possible answers. For example, maybe you like playing games and they're running poorly on your phone, your phone is lagging, and your gameplay is slow. And, of course, you want to enjoy your gaming experience, right? Or maybe you've noticed that your phone has become slower, apps are taking longer to load, the interface is no longer smooth, it's become choppy, or your phone has even started shutting down. In short, the easiest way to add a little more processing power to your phone is to use our standard settings. Let's get started. Next, find your phone or go to the phone's information, where you'll find all the information. Find the firmware version. If you have a different phone, it will be there too. Tap on the firmware version. And after you do this about 7 times, it will congratulate you. You are now a developer. Then go back. Go to settings again and look for advanced settings. It should be at the bottom. Scroll down until you see the line called developers. Click on it. There is no search here, so scroll carefully and look for buffer logging. Click on it. By default, it will be set to some medium values or the lowest values. No matter what the value here is, set it to the maximum. For example, I already have 8 megabytes set. Then check the log level. Mine is set to verbose. Yours should be the same. Then scroll down and look for system tracing. Click on it. Here, by default, this feature of recording app activity is often enabled. Be sure to disable it. And in very rare cases, activities may be recorded on the phone. Be sure to disable this feature. It slows down the phone by about 50%. Then go to categories and check this box called power management. It may be disabled. So, activate it and click OK. Next is the buffer size section. By default, it's set to the minimum for each processor. Enable it and set it to the maximum. Exit these settings. Scroll down and go to the window animation section. Here, you need to set the window animation scale and transition animation scale to 0.5. Or, if you want maximum performance, disable them completely and set both to none. After that, simply log out and restart your phone. Then test it by playing games, using an app, or simply using your smartphone for work. 